This is the story of a man called Mr. Noddle that was going to a house to rest and cure his illness. There he met the niece of Mrs. Sapleton, Vera, that kindly invited to the house and waited with him until her aunt went there. She told him a story about her aunt that was that a tragedy happened to her. It was about her husband and two young brothers. That day they went to a shedding and never came back. She still left the open window in case if they came back to her. When the aunt came back he started to talk to Mr. Noll about his illness, but Mr. Sapleton looked the other way because her husband and her two young brothers were, were coming back from the day shooting. As Mr. Noll looked at them, he looks like he sees a ghost because as the bearer told him, him they mysteriously disappeared and were considered dead. Theater play, the open window. Important characters. Mr. Nuttall. Mrs. Sapleton, husband. Vera Sapleton Mrs. Sapleton Other characters Mr. and Mrs. Sapleton stuck Ronnie, the youngest brother or Mrs. Sapleton. The other brother of Mrs. Sapleton. The, the open window. window. Interpreted by Alicia Osme and Juanita Orlando. Bye, Saki! Saki was the stage man of Hector Moro that was born in Atyap, Borna on December 18, 1870. Hector's father was an inspector of the Journal of Borna Police. He was the youngest of three children. He lived his childhood in at Broad Gate Villa in Bolton Village, near North Devon. He was, his father left the children in care of two sisters and her mother before he went to India. Hector wasn't a strong child, neither the their boys. The family doctor declared that neither of the siblings would reach out to. Of concern of Hector's health, his departure at school was delayed and he was coached for many years by governors. Hector's family was sent to Exmouth at the age of 12, the year after his grandmother passed away. Charlie had been to Exmouth as well as Hector, spending three years before 
went to Barefoot Girl Grammar at 15. By the time he was 16, her extra father was retired and, back, and was back to spend more time with his children. In, 19, in 1893, Saki left to Burma, where he, where he was born. His father arranged a post for him with the military police. He spent 13 months in Burma. He was sick in many occasions, and, but he found the time to pursue up the study of Buenos Aires. Juanita's house. I am all day present right now. In the meantime, you must try and put up with me. I know how it will be. Do you know many people around here? Hardly a soul. My sister was staying here at the restaurant, you know, some four years ago, and she gave me letters of introduction to some of the people here. Then you know practically nothing about my aunt. Only her name and her address. Her great tragedy happened just three years ago. That will be since your sister time. Her tragedy? You may wonder why we keep that window wide open on a third afternoon. It's quite warm for the time of the year, but has that window got anything to do with that tragedy? I threw that window three years ago today. There, her husband and her two young daughters went off their things shooting. They never came back. In crossing the moor to their favorite snipe shooting ground, they were all three engulfed in a treacherous piece of bug. It had been that dreadful wet summer, you know and presses that were safe in our year, gave away of sunny without warning. Their bodies were never recovered. That was the dreadful part of it. Poor aunt always think that they will come back someday. They and the little brown spinal that was lost with them and walk that window just as they used to. That is why we keep the window wide open. Every email is quite dust. Poor dear aunt, she has often told me how they will out her husband out with his white waterproof coat over his arm, and Ronnie, her youngest brother, singing Bernie, why do you bound, as he always did to tease her because he said he got on her nerves. Do you know sometimes on still quiet emails like this I almost get a creepy feeling like they will all 
walk in through the window has been amazing. She has been very interesting. I hope you don't mind the open window. My husband and words will be home directly for shooting and they always come in this way. They've been out for a snack in the marshes today, so they'll make a fine mess or my poor carpet. So like you, motherfucker, isn't it? The doctors agree in ordering me complete rest, an absence of mental excitement and avoidance of anything in the nature of violent physical exercise. On the matter of diet, they are not so much in the agreement. No? Here they are, at least, just in time for tea, and don't look like if they were more up to the eyes. Here we are, my dear. Fairly muddy, but most of it's red. Who was who bothered out of we came out? A most of man who only talked about his illness and dashed off with a word of goodbye or a call when you arrived. One would think he had seen a ghost. was the spinal. He told me he had a horde of dogs. He was hunted into a cemetery somewhere on the banks of the gales by a pack of pariah dogs. And he had spent the night in a new dog grave with the creatures snoring and grinning and foaming just above him. Girls they make anyone lose their name. The end! Open window by Saki. This story was interpreted by Juanita Orlando and Alicia Uzer. Hope you enjoy it. Special thanks Richard Moreno Gra Gabriela Suárez Juanita Brando Alicia Usme Daniela Brando ¡Woo!